All right, today I'm talking to you about our compare and contrast characters assessment. That's right, this week you have an assessment or performance task for language arts class. Last week we did practice with using comparing and contrasting vocabulary, writing sentences, using evidence to explain how something compared or was similar and how it contrasted or was different. So this is your check to see how you're doing. So directions in this assignment, you will choose two characters from any of the stories we've read or listened to for our ELA classes and compare or to compare and contrast. Please follow the steps for each day to help brainstorm plan, then write a paragraph comparing and contrasting those two characters. This assignment will be graded and is due on Thursday, April 30th. This video is going to be a quick, I hope, review of the whole assessment, and then I'll do mini um, videos for each step if you need them, okay? So on Monday, your first step is to choose two characters. They do not need to be from the same story. So the stories that we've really gone over together as a class and had comprehension checks um, and discussed some of the major elements of are the unexplainable disappearance of Mars Patel, the ravine, and the challenge. So those are the three you're choosing from. For Mars Patel, we have all the characters, all the major characters listed, Ravine, Vinny, Joe Boy, Starling, and Mo, and then the challenger is just Jose and Estella. So you could pick Jose and Estella to compare and contrast, or you could pick to um, do Jose versus Mars Patel, or somebody, any other combination, okay? It's totally up to you. Step two for money is simply to write down your first character choice and your second character choice, okay? So pretty quick for those two steps. And step three is to brainstorm the similarities and differences. This is set up just like the um, quick rate about spring break. So similarities, we've got a bullet here and you can just hit enter and just bullet, bullet, bullet. List all the things that are similar between those two characters. And then for the differences, character one kind of versus character two, okay? You may need to re-listen to an episode of Mars Patel if you choose a character from there. And as you're listening, write some things down. Or if you're choosing like the challenge, you might need to look over that story again and that will be linked in the assignment if you, actually, sorry, it's linked right up here. So the podcast linked is here. Um, the Ravine link is right here where it says story here, and the challenge uh, by Gary Soto, that link is right there. So we have all that, everything ready for you. All right, that's Monday, done. Tuesday, you're going to complete an idea generator. So this is set up for you with on the left side, what a thesis is, so what the requirement is for that first thesis or introductory sentence, and then an example one. We used Elsa and Anna because Lana. Um, so we have an example one there, and then you would write yours on the right side, okay? That's one sentence. The assessment is, I should be clear, oh no, I said it above, but it's a paragraph, right? Um, for those of you who want to challenge yourself, you can write an essay. Um, you might be able to write enough in that introductory sentence. You can make it a couple of sentences and then have a lot more of the comparison evidence, contrasting evidence, and then a conclusion, concluding sentence or paragraph to make that a four paragraph essay if you want to really work on your writing chops. Okay, so thesis sentence or introductory sentence goes right here on the right. Next, we have a comparison sentence. Just one sentence saying what's similar about these two things. That's a sentence, you have examples on the left, evidence, the red, on the right you would give evidence from each of the stories to explain how you know they both share a similar characteristic. For contrasting, we have the, a, a simple sentence saying how they're different, and then you provide evidence here, okay? And if you want more examples, you can click on this link as well. And then for the concluding sentence, you basically just say, again, these two characters are similar, but they're also different, just to kind of wrap it up and restate, okay? And you have examples here. I'll go through those in, that in the mini video. Uh, for Thursday, once you've done all that planning, you're really turning this into a paragraph. So if you wrote beautifully up here, you could copy and paste. If you just kind of bulleted out ideas in this plan, then you're really writing it out. Um, you know, in the end, it's up to you how you want to do it. I would write complete sentences using the examples as a guide just to make sure I was doing things right. But if you have, if you like to just flow, then flow. All right. Um, turn your idea generator into a paragraph. It says 
all the instructions are there. And here's an example paragraph. So when you click here, you can kind of see just in the little preview here that we have an example paragraph for you, okay? So you can look up what that would look like. You are actually gonna type your example paragraph below this big black giant bar that says write your paragraph response below. People still are kind of struggling with that step of after the plan, write it out like a paragraph. So I can see that format and you can double check your sentence structure it needs to be written out in a paragraph. Please do not turn into me the plan, okay? That I will not accept that. I'll ask you to do it to do it properly and write out the paragraph. Step two for Thursday is to read your paragraph out loud or have you know a parent read it to you to check to see if there's anything that needs to be missing. You can edit and revise using a editing checklist that's linked here. Um, remind you about capitalization, punctuation, readability, and rubric. So the rubric is below, and when you're finished, you turn it in. And of course, you'll want to check the rubric if you want to check it off. Sometimes I see people do that. I think that's really cool. Remember, you can click, click again, and then a two-finger click to go, yep, I did that. Up to you if you want to use it as a checklist that way. I will just highlight it green for nailed it, yellow for mm -mm, white would be like really totally missing and then I'll give you comments okay just one rubric for this um mostly about having the similarity having the evidence if you do everything in that idea generator you'll be in perfect shape okay if you miss some of those steps you'll be missing things in the rubric okay and the final step or the final check is mostly correct grammar of course right you want I want to see that look pretty perfect I'm just asking for a paragraph all right I'm going to move. I will go over the 4.0 section in the mini video for Thursday, but I want to keep this as short as I can. So that is your assignment for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday of this week. Friday we'll do virtual time capsule and the um, an episode of Mars Patel. Okay, and I'll go over that in our slideshow. All right, have an awesome night and see you tomorrow.